Welcome to Mid Wales. In this video, we're going to be staying in Squirrel's Nest tree house. So Squirrel's Nest is in the middle of nowhere. It's really secluded. We left the main road probably about 20 minutes before we reached the uh, reached the farm where they're located. So Squirrel's Nest have got three different bespoke, hand-built by the owner John tree houses, and uh, we're going to be staying in one of them. So the first uh, adventure was to get our belongings from the car over to our tree house. So our tree house about a quarter of a mile from the car so arm of our wheelbarrows we managed to do it but proper dad life I'm here with the uh, with the travel cart because uh, yeah I couldn't really fit it in but no we're really looking forward to this so in this video I'm going to show you what it's like to stay here give you a guided tour and show you what we get up to during our time in Wales so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, if you've got anything any questions or anything drop them in the comment box below Squirrel's Nest is located just over the English border in Wales. Distance wise it's about 130 miles from Nottingham and 180 miles from London and it'll take you about four hours to drive. We uh, were going to do some filming coming across the field with our wheelbarrows but unfortunately the heavens opened and we got soaked and when you've got an eight-month-old child it's not great fun. <laughs> we sit in the first tree house that they built it has a large double bed, an area for living space, a kitchen, bathroom and a mezzanine floor that children can sleep in. The bath offers incredible views over the Welsh countryside and if you want to get outside it's also got a hot tub on the decking too. So we've been left a selection of goods in the treehouse. We've got some homemade barra brith, I hope I've said that right, uh, which has been made by the cleaner. So barra brith is a Welsh tea bread, I have to Google that. Um, we've got some Snowdonia black bomber cheese. We've got some tomato chutney. We've got some handmade crisps. Um, there's some crackers so that'll go well with the uh, with the cheese. There's a bottle of white wine. I don't know what these are. That's sea salt. There's a cool little pumpkin. Unfortunately, that's not edible. There's a chocolate barra brith muesli and we've also got a bottle of prosecco which we'll uh, enjoy in the hot tub later I failed miserably to open a bottle of Prosecco. Beth was quite successful and we enjoyed our glasses in the hot tub outside. Good morning. Good morning. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, give Daddy a wave. Good morning from Squirrel's Nest. Beth and me today are going to stay at the treehouse and uh, explore what's around here. So there's lots of countryside, lots of sheep, a uh, hot tub, all different things they can try. And I'm going to go to the Elan Valley Dams because um, I borrowed a car from Peugeot. So I really want to test it out and get some really good shots of it around the dams and in the Welsh countryside. It's always great to have an awesome car for a road trip. And Peugeot definitely came to my call when I said that I was going to Wales to stay in the tree houses. And they provided me a loan of the all new 2008. This is an absolute dream. It drives lovely. Um, and we're saying we have an eight month old child. It's a great size too. I've got my safety cable for my GoPro. I'm gonna put a suction mount on the bonnet so I can get some driving shots. One of the hardest things about driving in Wales is that the road signs are in both Welsh and then English underneath. So you're driving along, uh, you see a sign, read the Welsh, miss the English completely, and then it's gone. So yeah, you miss it all together. Driving through the Welsh countryside with the heated seats on, the panoramic sunroof open, and some cheesy tunes was absolute bliss. I'm making my way through the Elan Valley. The scenery around here looks like the start of Postman Pat. You've got Pat with his little red van going through these rounded hills, and that's what it looks like around here. So I'm making my way towards Craig Gock Dam. Dams were built in the late 1800s and they were built to provide clean water to Birmingham, although Birmingham is nearly 100 miles away from the valley. I've arrived at the Craig Gock 
dam in the Elam Valley. I've got my Peugeot here. I had hoped to get a photo of the Peugeot here with the dam in the background, but someone's parked their car here. I was gonna go up there. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I can't get the shot that I wanted because I was hoping to get a shot looking down on the Peugeot with the dam in the background. Dam is open to both cars and pedestrians, so I'm currently walking back to the car. I drove over to start off with, and the views here are pretty impressive. A little bit of behind the scenes footage here because I really wanted to get a video of the car driving towards the camera. The valley has six dams in total, and a couple of them you can walk or drive over. The second dam I stopped at was Penny Garrick, and you can see here the water was cascading down it and it looked incredible. This waterfall was a nice surprise when driving through the valley. Daddy's gone trekking and Mummy and Mia are going for an autumnal picnic. We're going for an autumn picnic, baby, aren't we? Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Ah! So, Squirrel's Nest have arranged for us to have massages each. So both Beth and I are having back massages, so we've agreed that uh, whilst the other person is having a massage, we'll take little Mia out and about. So Mia and I are just off adventuring around our treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you're sleeping tonight, Mia. Oh. Can you see your sock? Where is Mia's socks? Proper dad life problems. Yeah. And I realised that Mia was missing a sock and I was worried that the sheep might get it, but thankfully I've just spotted it. So when we were swinging on the swing, it appears that Mia has lost her little sock. Ready? Get it? Whoa! So no choking sheep. High five, buddy. You're high fiving. Splash, 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 splash. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Cheers, baby Mia. Here's the little baby Mia. To Mia. To Mia. You want some? <laughs> oh, oh, don't please in my way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other videos and like and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on other popular social media sites such as Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you in the next video.